evening all. And tonight for a change I'm smoking a Danish pipe. This is a Barry pipe. It's a beautiful pipe. Don't often smoke bent pipes as well, but this one is very light and it's very comfortable. Just hangs in the mouth very nicely. And because it's a Danish pipe, a Danish pipe, I thought I'll smoke a Danish tobacco, so I have a look through my collection and I found something which I wasn't very smitten with last time I tried it, which could have been over 12 months ago, so it's been slowly fermenting away in the packet, in the jar, and it's Planter Original Danish Black V mixture. I think they do a, well they used to do, flake as well, but this is the, the mixture. And the smell in the jar is, well the smell in the jar sells it really. It's fantastic. I've got it in a bag but you can even smell it through that. It's lovely. The V stands for the, uh, vanilla, but it used to be originally black V. And it's also got a lovely apple, sort of apple pie. Um, aroma about it, sweet apple pie with vanilla, it's really good. You can imagine vanilla ice cream, very sweet vanilla ice cream with apple pie, it's something like that. And the last time I tried it, I, I just wasn't too crazy about it, it was a bit too too mild, but um, it's grown on me a little bit, it's not bad at all. It's it's got various Virginias in and Burley, Cavendish, black Cavendish, that type of thing, hence the hence the black, the black V, black vanilla. And it's as long as you smoke it slowly, take your time with it. It's it's not bad at all. It's it's not got the hollowness that I find a lot of mild aromatics have got. It's quite a good mouthfeel going on there. It's gone out with me talking, but it's been going for about 20 minutes. Yeah, it's got a lovely mouthfeel about it. And it's very similar to the aromatics that I used to smoke in the 80s. The sweetness of the vanilla and the burley all very nicely together and the Virginia coming in is the sweetness of course and the Cavendish yeah it's not bad at all makes a change maybe it needed the Danish pipe to set it off <laughs> probably not but it certainly smokes a lot better than last time I tried it could have matured a bit who knows so I've got it in a in a mason jar, I do like the mason jars, they're very good. That bit comes out when you lift it, like that. That bit drops out, yep, probably onto the floor, like that. So you can stick it back in and hang it away, and they really do keep good and, good and uh, fresh in these, they're really airtight, because some jars are supposed to be airtight, and they come to, 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 to the tobacco, and it's it's dried out but this has been in there for ages and it's fine. So I just thought I'd mention that one to you. So it just shows you can have a tasty mild one. Although it's not as mild as some. It's it's trying to be in the medium bracket but it doesn't quite make it. And that sweetness stays with it all the way down. Mm. Quite a luscious sweetness. Yep. Vanilla ice cream or vanilla and apple pie and you're not far off with that one. Yeah, anyway that's that's planter. Danish black V. I'm not a, this is the I think this is the original version of it. Planter. I think Mac Barron's do it these days. I've had this for quite a while. If 
memory serves me right, I think it came from Spain or Lanzarote. So they could have had it on a shelf for ages. I know some places keep it on in, in the stock rooms and they've got it there for years sometimes. So when it changed over to my barons if it did, I don't know. But it goes perfectly in this uh, this little Danish barry. Well, it's not that little actually. Quite a good sized pipe. Very light though. Right guys, uh, guys, anyway, I'll see you and take care, stay warm, keep it smoky.